Hello everyone, and welcome back to Unmasking Autism. Since 2011, I have been volunteering at the British Heart Foundation in Wakefield. And at the time, I didn't know I was autistic, and so did my former manager turned area manager, Tracy Jeffels. The charity used to be located on top of Westgate but has since relocated to 13 Westgate, Wakefield Precinct. At first, I worked as a volunteer shop floor assistant. I struggled quite a lot, mainly with communicating with customers. Communicating with my co-workers can be a struggle, mostly because I don't make eye contact with a new co-worker at first. But with time and a lot of patience, it gets better. Since Christmas 2018, I have been working as a volunteer till lady. What would take people weeks to get around working on the till, it took me a one week to get around working on the till because my dad is now a retired graphics designer, which meant he worked on a computer. Since then, my confidence in communicating with customers has grown. However, I do struggle with language barriers and have to ask a co-worker to help me. But in some cases, I do meet rude customers. Last year, I heard a customer making a complaint about me being rude to her. Thankfully, a former co-worker pointed out that I'm autistic and through realising about my disability, she took her complaint back. A few weeks ago, another customer told me that I should say please and thank you very rudely to me. But I pointed out to that customer that I'm autistic and through no fault of my own, I some. I sometimes tend to forget to say please or thank you. Also, when I forget to say please or thank you, my mum would say, what do we say? And that reminds me to say please or thank you. Since I started volunteering, I have met a lot of people. My co-workers are some of the most friendliest and kind people I have ever met in my life. Sam and Janine would let me know where they are just in case they need help. And Sam would remind me that if I need a break, I will let her know that I need a break. I was working on the till, just come with obstacles. For example, sometimes I have to face a long queue of customers and it can be overwhelming if I did it on my own. And it causes me to have a meltdown. My co-workers would help me take the edge off it by assisting me on the till or jump on the till altogether. Unlike most of my, my co-workers, I wear the sunflower lanyard called the Hidden Disability Sunflower Lanyard. This lanyard is a discreet sign of the sign that the wearer has a hidden disability and needs extra help. Since getting this lanyard, my co-workers, I mean, give me tons of help and support. My current manager, Sharon, Sharon Johnson, is the most incredible person, manager, you could ever meet. She is a mother of three and two of her children are on the spectrum too. So she understands what it's like to be a parent of autistic children. If you decide to volunteer with us, I can promise and guarantee that you will be well looked after because you should never let your disabilities get in the way way. And I have seen autism portrayed in the workplace through watching The Good Doctor, both the original South Korean version and the American version. Today's poem is called My Sister and I. Sister born in autumn. I born in winter, 
sister born in the late 80s. I born in the early 90s. Both with fair hair, sisters light as sand. Mine golden as the sun. Both with blue eyes. Sisters light as ice. Mine deep as the ocean. <clears throat> My sister is like Anna. I am like Elsa, born to be different. At the end of the day, we're still sisters by flesh and blood. And I love my big sister. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And bye.